Hi Turnip, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Starbucks inspired cherry blossom frappuccino macaron. It tastes really good and if you guys like strawberry, it is the macaron for you. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are all our ingredients, our egg whites, granulated sugar, matcha powder, our strawberry extract, our red food coloring, our almond meal, and our confection sugar. So we are just going to mix our almond meal and confection sugar until it's well combined. So for the next step, we are going to whisk our egg whites. Make sure that your egg whites are cold and fresh and straight out of the fridge. We go whisk it until it looks like this, and then that is when we are going to add in our granulated sugar. Just combine all your granulated sugar all in one shot and continue whisking until when you flip the bowl, it sticks to the bowl. And this is the texture that you're looking for. Uh, it should look really nice and stick to the wall. And for color, I'm just going to add 3 drops of Wilton's Red Food Coloring. And I'm just going to whisk in the colors. And something that I really enjoy is seeing the colors change. How it goes from white to a really beautiful pink. Okay, so now that all the colors are well blended together, we are going to add in our strawberry extract. So this macaron recipe reminds me of strawberry pocky, and this recipe is a Starbucks inspired cherry blossom drink. It was available about two weeks ago, and it was only available for a week. So I think that it was a really good drink that I really enjoyed, and it's perfect for spring. So you guys should give this recipe a try. So once you whisk in the strawberry extract, it should still stick to the bowl and it should look really pretty like this. And then we are going to add in our mixture of almond meal and confection sugar that we mixed earlier. And we are going to fold it and combine. In this video, I decided to not fast forward this process because I think it looks really nice. And if you guys also account for the fact that confection sugar and almond meal are lighter in color, it definitely makes the pink a little bit lighter. So I think that it's a really perfect color if you guys want to aim for this beautiful cherry blossom color. And as usual, we are going to fold inside ours and we are trying to combine both our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. And it's very important for you to notice that the air bubble is going to deflate and it's going to give your macaron the perfect amount of air in the shells. So if you guys are new to my channel or new to making macarons, definitely look out for the lava consistency which I will indicate later in this video. That is a consistency that you guys want to achieve and you should stop folding once you achieve that stage. Because if you keep on folding, and overfolding will cause your macarons to deflate because all the air will escape your macaron and your macarons are going to come out really flat with no feet. So it's not about the number of folds but the texture. Once you reach this beautiful lava texture where it drips back just a little bit, that is when you should stop folding. So the next step in the making the macaron process, we are going to use a cup and it's going to be our stand for our piping bag. And I'm using Wilton's disposable piping bag just to make my life easier. And for the piping tip, I'm also using a circular piping tip. And as shown, we are going to pour all of our batter into the piping tip so that we can pipe our macarons. And then I snip the tip of my piping bag and just pipe directly onto the soup pad. If you guys do not have a soup pad, you guys are more than welcome to use a parchment paper instead. So one pro tip that I recommend is definitely piping your macaron staggered just so that there's more space for your macarons to spread when it's baking so they do not clump and bake together. Don't forget to bang your cookie sheet and then add in a bit of matcha powder, a little bit of a sprinkle on top of the macarons before baking these macarons in a preheated 300 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 19 minutes. 
And if you guys are going for that hipster look where you guys add in the matcha powder, definitely add it in before you bake it because it really helps adhere the matcha powder on top. And as you guys can see, I piped a really delicious strawberry cheesecake filling and that recipe can be found in the description box down below. There's a link over there so you guys can click on it. And of course, we are going to sandwich them together. Do not pipe too much filling because it might overflow. You just want to pipe a little bit where it's just enough and it's going to look perfect like this. Hey turnips, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this really easy and delicious tutorial on how to make the strawberry cherry blossom macaron, which is an inspired frappuccino drink. And if you guys haven't done so, definitely check out my previous macaron video where I posted my strawberry cheesecake macaron filling. And I also used real sakura cherry blossom tea leaves in that video as well. So you guys can check it out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys next time.